So yeah. are you involved in any yacht clubs out there or are there any that you know of? And did you ever reach out to Marcus Asante in Chesapeake Bay, the, the one that has that the black like sail yacht club that I interviewed? Yeah. Right. So um I get around to that. actually someone someone, yeah, someone came to like was walking past our slip and is part of that yacht club. And we had a conversation about some of their uh, regattas that are coming up that, you know, this summer. So I think we're going to try to take part in that and Yay. just, you know, get to meet that community a little bit more. Right. Yeah, that's great. I'll, I'll, again, I'll try to con connect you and Marcus um, because he's a super cool dude. He's a huge history buff, especially about um, the black boating awesome. community and sailing. So I think you two would like hit it off. So I'm definitely gonna head, set you up on a mandate. <laughs> All right. So, Fantastic. Okay, so growing up, uh, up around boating and so on and so forth, do, were, were you ever affected by the like stigmas about black people not being able to swim or just black people not being interested in that world or anything? Or did you not think about it because it was kind of in your peripheral growing up? You know, I think it's kind of, um, I think you get it from both angles, right? So there's the, the one side about like people, when, you, uh, when you're headed to your boat and they ask you, are you, are you working on that boat? Or are you, are you crew or, you know? Um, which, you know I've never thought of that. That's one thing. I never thought of that. I right? usually get then, that question. No one ever goes, oh, is that your boat? Right. Yeah. And I find the same thing, even though it's. I, I even asked you guys that, like, like when I was like, where are you guys staying? And you were like, oh, on a boat in the marina. I was like, oh, do you like work on it? <laughs> You're like, right, no, you know? my boat. And I was like, oh, like I <laughs> even do that to, pe to people of color that are on boats. Right. And I think that that's the that's part of the. Uh, you know, the, the word prejudice is strong for this, you know, for this context, but it is a preconceived notion that, you know, when we encounter people who, you know, look like this and they're doing this thing, then they must be working on it, right? And that just isn't always the case, right? Um, on the other hand, um, on the other side, sometimes we get the... Uh, kind of the, the opposite where when someone is another black boater or a, a, you know, particularly a sailor mm -hmm. and they come up to us and wanna ask questions, then it becomes a, like we were saying before, it becomes like this camaraderie, this mm -hmm. uh, instant community. And that's just, that's fantastic, you know? Yeah, it's super special. I, I would say yeah. that yeah. you can come from different walks of life you know, and be a part of the same community. And it's, and all of, none of that matters. It, because the right. whole, the only thing that matters is that we're both here, we're both on the water, we're making space for ourselves in this environment. Mm -hmm. And so that in itself right. unifies us, you know, which is the right. whole point. Of and I find it happens in the That what? Yeah, right. Wait, what did you uh, say? It happens a lot more when we're, it happens a lot more when we're out of the country. You know, oh, yeah. in the U.S., there, you know, you get the you get the nod, you know, and the oh, I see you, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But when we're out of the country, then we get the hey, who are you? Tell me about yourself. Yeah, you know? I agree. Yeah. So that's, that's special. Great. Right. It's, it's interesting because yeah. I feel like when I pass or see other black voters, um, when you do the. But like, it's like you you know that they're probably the only ones in their boating community that are black or brown. So it's like, we're still alone right. in this space. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah, I would say mm -hmm. I tend to connect with people more out of the country because it's like, oh, we're both out of the country. We're both on this, in this experience at the same time. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Do you have and any, go ahead. No, I was gonna. I was just gonna say that there's, you know, especially in um, in the sailing community, it's a little bit different too, because I think that even, you know, if the if the number of 
of black boaters is this than the number of black sailors is that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so there's, there's an additional, you know, impetus for, you know, let me know who you are. Tell me more about yourself, right? Yeah. 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 That's amazing. I was going to say just for anyone out there watching that is sailing, that is a person of color to join the Black Sailors group in Facebook. That's where I meet a lot of people, even in San Diego that are into it. And in the Chesapeake Bay, Baltimore, there's people all over that are building a community for this. So anyone watching out there that wants to get into sailing or just learn, um, but doesn't feel quite comfortable going into a white space being like, hey, can someone teach me how to sail? There are people out there that can lend their you know, knowledge and are more than happy to welcome more black uh, sailors and boaters into the community. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Do you have any yeah. friends that also sail that are, are people of color or black indigenous people of color? Yeah, um, I think that though most of them are people that we've you know, we've kind of met along the way that we've we've brought into our community or there are people that we've brought in because they're our friends, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a there's a, a, a woman that I know here in Maryland who is, uh, you know, she's, she's a captain. She's, you know, licensed. She's been a sailor for, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And she is so awesome. She's just so entertaining, right? And it's nice to have that kind of, okay, well, you know, I know you've been doing this longer, like, let me ask you about this kind of thing. And that camaraderie, right? Mm -hmm. But it's also nice to get your friends into it who are just, they just want to be there to spend time with you, but then they really start like learning okay. about it and picking it up and they, they, they make it part of their lives as well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So did your wife and yourself have any hesitation or were you guys like, did you experience any pushback or weird questions when you were looking to purchase your sailboat? Oh yeah. I mean, one of the reasons that we, um, that we bought from a particular broker was that when we were at the you know, Annapolis Boat Show, and we had been for, you know, many years, every, you know, two, two times a year, there was a, a person who was there and always gave us the time of day, you know, whereas other people would potentially not, they would say, oh, well, yeah, this is this, and like be curt with okay. their um, answers to their questions, you know, yeah. because they don't expect um someone who's buying a boat to maybe look like me right yeah so you know i thought you were just there maybe window shopping or tr just yeah just, or just uh, like checking it out because like oh it's something <laughs> different right 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 yeah but um yeah that that built some some loyalty and um you know our second boat we we had a similar situation where the um, the dealer had talked to us a couple of years before and said, oh, maybe you should think about this. You know, this is something that I did. This is something that maybe you want, want to consider, you know, because we were thinking, okay, we're going to get this catamaran and we're going to jump from this size to that size. And said, well, you know, let's, let's talk about this and then let's, let's go out and check this boat out. Right. Um, in an environment where you don't always get the, the the time of day from someone yeah the people who really give you like attention you want to support that yeah you know? of course of course right yeah that's yeah. that makes sense it's like like that scene in pretty woman with julia roberts <laughs> oh, <yeah>. big mistake <laughs> Big right? mistake, big mistake. Yeah. And I'm sure that's how you guys felt when you sailed past those other brokers on your on your sailing boat, like big mistake, big yeah. mistake. Right. You know, yeah. like, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And it's like, instead of people assuming that you can't afford this boat and being like, oh, well, don't get this one. Why don't you get something smaller? Or, you know, it's like, what are you looking for? What are you in the market for? What's your budget? What's your experience level? Do you want to sail yeah. around the world or you just want to mm -hmm. go on the bay? 
that person mm-hmm. definitely deserves your money and your because you're going to recommend this person to your other friends to your other black friends as well that want to pur- that want to purchase a boat and that's right you know good on that guy that's great or a woman whoever yeah. um so what are You're your right. future yeah. plans when's your next voyage yeah um so first of all since july of last year we've been back in baltimore for a total of about six weeks at this time so you know we we've gone north we've gone south um i think that uh you know because of some you know recent recent events i'm gonna have to stay for a little while you know for a month or two but um we have uh we have a little trip coming up at the end of the month for about a week and then after that we'll be i think gone again for several months that's awesome yeah, do you so- have an itinerary planned or are you just kind of going to wait until the time comes well we're going to go north because um uh our son is going to nyu we've got to move him into the dorms you know yes. so that's going to be cool yeah. yeah so we'll be that way for Wait, at least a, a month your, or two are you gonna drop your son off to college in your yacht <laughs> it's not, essentially yeah yeah something like that <laughs> that would be super cool right then, i just realized i have no idea where nyu is so i don't even know if that's possible oh uh, no, no, no we've got to like we've got to go inland a little bit so. okay <laughs> yeah. but um you know we've we've well last year we were all around New York and Long Island Sound oh, and you know true. yeah so we're going to do a lot of that um right. and then head back south again yeah that sounds cool yeah. cool yeah we can work well, from the boat so it's a uh, you know it's not an issue yeah well that's super yeah. cool and you know congratulations that's well, awesome thank you. of thank course you. your son's a smarty pants like you you're like a walking encyclopedia over there <laughs> I swear I can I can ask He's you about literally me. anything random and you'll have an explanation for it. <laughs> well thank you. Yeah. Uh he's a he's a special kid. He's a he's a competitive fencer. And uh yeah, we moved him up to New York so that he could train at uh yeah, Brooklyn Bridge Fencing Club. He's just a he's he's so kind too. He's such a great kid. Oh, that's great. And fencing is super cool. Like not a lot of people, that's not something everyone knows or does. So that's super dope, actually. Again, something else out of the ordinary, right? Right, exactly. Breaking stereotypes one sport at a time. (laughs) I love it. I'm here for it. All right. Well, is there anything you would like to say to anyone watching that would like to be in sailing or the yachting community, Uh, people of color? anybody try it try it because if you if you find that you love it if it's right for you it'll call to you and then it'll it'll open your life to something that's that not everybody gets to experience you know um for me it's that kind of zen feeling for some people it's just the ability to to see the world you know um both are great you know try it just get into it a little bit and see if it's right for you and yeah. chances are you know there's somebody there like me they like i've introduced lots of people to it there there's somebody there who wants to help you do that and it'll be a lot of fun yes i agree 100 percent. and it's it's a personal growth opportunity it's right. right just you know whether it's an adrenaline junkie thing or a meditation thing it's it's can only bring good to your life and I encourage everyone to get out there and give it a shot. And yeah, so thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm pleased to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, it's always nice to talk to you. Um, everyone else, stay tuned for Diversity and Yachting every Thursday. And thanks again to Biffery. Can you tell everyone where to find you on Instagram or something to follow your journey or, or anything? Sure. Yeah, so on Instagram, we are at SV underscore Ananda Life. Ananda Life. That's Ananda, A-N-A-N-D-A, yeah. Nice. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Bye.